In the previous video, we learned that the intersection of different components of two or more pitchforks might result in the formation of X spots, which are critical areas for price reversal. But X spots can also be made when a pitchfork crosses over any horizontal support or resistance area on the chart. These horizontal zones include any support or resistance area based on significant highs and lows, or different Fibonacci levels, such as Fibonacci retracement, extension, and projection. In this example, I've drawn a classic pitchfork using the pivots marked on the chart. When the price hit the median line of this pitchfork for the first time, it reacted to it by doing a short-lived correction. Still, after breaking the previous high, it reached the pitchfork's median line again. Here we can draw a resistance zone based on the most recent and significant highs. The more fractals that went into making these zones, the more valid they are. This resistance has been tested many times, but the price has been unable to break through this area. After locating this resistance zone and extending it to the right, we see that it has formed an X spot with the help of the pitchfork's median line, which is precisely within the price trajectory. In the following, we can see that the price made a reversal pattern in response to this zone and consequently began a downtrend. Consider that the lower parallel line and the first warning line might serve as reasonable take profit levels. Here on the British pound Japanese yen chart, the price has climbed back up after a sharp drop with a series of green candles. In this situation, we can draw a support area from this important reversal point and extend it to the right to monitor the future price reaction near that zone. In the following, the price has responded to this level and rebounded. It appears to be gearing up for a third attack. In this case, we use the three fractals on the chart to draw a shift pitchfork. As you can see, the price trajectory and the support zone have made a significant intersection. When the price hits this zone, it forms two powerful reversal candlestick patterns, suggesting that the market is bottoming out. So we can go long above this bullish engulfing pattern and put our stop loss below the support zone. Keep in mind that the confluence of horizontal support and resistance zones with various pitchfork lines can provide accurate exit points in addition to entry points. By looking at the market's history, you can see how we can locate a significant area of resistance that the price has responded to on multiple occasions. Subsequently, by extending this zone to the right and locating its intersection with the third warning line of the pitchfork, we discover another X spot that can work as an excellent take profit level. Eventually, after leaving the pitchfork, the price has reached that level. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, different Fibonacci levels can also make X spots when they intersect with various pitchfork lines. Here, we can see that the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level of the prior up move intersects with the first warning line of this modified shift pitchfork. We may strengthen our analysis further by drawing a trend line between the two fractals shown on the chart and extending that line until we get a powerful X spot. The price then responded brilliantly to this region and resumed its uptrend. The Fibonacci projection can also contribute to X spot formation. In this example, you can see that the price is forming a zigzag pattern. Here, we can draw a modified shift pitchfork using the three fractals specified on the chart. Subsequently, we can use the 100% Fibonacci projection level to figure out where the second wave of the zigzag might end. As you can see, this level and the pitchfork's lower parallel line join forces to create an ideal X spot. To raise the bar even higher, using this significant fractal, we can draw a support zone and extend it to the right. After the price reached that area, it showed a proper reaction by making a reversal pattern. As a result, we can go long above this up fractal and put our stop loss below the support and Fibonacci projection levels. To pick the ultimate take profit level, we can identify a significant flip level by referring to the price history, which has repeatedly alternated between acting as support and resistance. Further, by extending this level to the right and drawing the third warning line of the pitchfork, we will get another X spot, which can be a suitable level to exit our trades. The Fibonacci extension can also be quite helpful in locating X spots. The flat and expanded flat patterns are well known to traders who are already acquainted with the fundamentals of Elliott waves. In this example, wave B develops after wave A has finished, but cannot exceed the starting point of wave A. However, it quickly moves in the opposite direction, a downward movement that may end beyond wave A's termination. The term, bear trap, describes how this phenomenon might trick investors into thinking that a significant downtrend has begun.
We can use the 1.382 Fibonacci extension of wave B, a common ratio in this pattern, to figure out when wave C will end. We can also draw a standard pitchfork from the beginning and end of wave A and the end of wave B respectively, and look for the intersection of wave C, with the inner lines of this pitchfork. After drawing the pitchfork, we see that the price has reacted adequately to the 50% Fibonacci line. Therefore, we hope that the X spot shown on the chart will cause the price to reverse, and start a new trend in the direction of the market's primary movement. Upon reaching the target zone, the price promptly reverses course, beginning a sustained bullish trend. The price keeps rising with maximum momentum, but eventually, it runs out of steam and makes a deep correction. When we examine the chart more closely, we notice that this pattern is highly comparable to an expanded flat, which consists of a bull trap and a bear trap. To specify the possible point at which wave C can finish, we can use the 1.382 Fibonacci extension of wave B and its intersection with the lower parallel line of the pitchfork. The price then reacted favorably to this area and moved away from it immediately. In fact, the chosen X spot could predict the precise end of the corrective wave. In this chart, after a medium-term downtrend, with the formation of successive higher fractals, price action indicates that a change in trend is possible. Based on this, we can draw a modified shift pitchfork using the fractals specified on the chart. It appears that the median line of the pitchfork has influenced the price. Still, a Fibonacci fan drawn from the beginning and end of the medium-term downtrend can provide additional confirmation. As you can see, the price has historically reacted significantly to the 0.382 and 0.618 Fibonacci levels, which makes them ideal for predicting future X spots on the chart. Here, the pitchfork's median line and the 0.382 Fibo fan level intersected at a crucial point, and as we predicted, the price swiftly moved away from that region. After the price left the pitchfork's boundaries and hit the 0.786 Fibo fan level, it retraced to the upper parallel line of the pitchfork. In this area, the 0.618 Fibo fan level has formed another X spot with the help of the upper parallel line of the pitchfork. Eventually, if you pay attention to this strong bullish candle, you can feel more confident that the price will continue to rise. Traders who went long at lower levels, can book profits at the X spot formed by the third warning line of the modified shift pitchfork and the upper parallel line of the newly drawn classic pitchfork. If you have experience trading with median lines, Please share your insights and ideas in the comments below. Until next time.